Hey brother, it's another day to hold fast. It's an important day to hold fast. And we're putting on the armor of God because the Lord is a warrior, it says in Exodus 15. And we are now to walk forward in the battle that he has given to us with the right equipment because we also know there's an enemy that comes against us. So we put on the belt of truth. We've put on the breastplate of righteousness. And now we come to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15, and it said, and it says, And having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. Shoes are absolutely essential for a warrior. The sandals of the day that Paul is writing in, or the combat boots of a combat soldier today. We've got to have our feet covered. And I confess, I'm a tenderfoot. I wouldn't get anywhere barefooted. I just cannot do that. I've got to have good shoes, as do you. And shoes do two things to us. They protect us so that we can go into whatever terrain we need. And secondly, they give us purpose. They give us propulsion so we can go there. These shoes protect us. The gospel of peace gives us protection because we know we can stand anywhere that God asks us to stand. But secondly, they propel us. So let me tell you a little story. When I was a boy, I grew up in a town, a golden Colorado near Denver. And my dad, once a month at least, would go to the Denver Rescue Mission, which was a mission to men who lived on the street. And uh, we used to call it a skid row mission. It was on Larimer Street in Denver. And my dad would take me with him as a 10-year-old boy. And I would go with him. He would park his car a couple of blocks away from the mission to keep it from being vandalized. And then we'd walk down the street past these ragged, smelly men, men lying on the street. There were bottles on the sidewalk. There was vomit on the curb. And my dad would say this to me. He'd say, Roger, we're going to walk down this street and we're going to look like we're going somewhere and nobody's going to bother us. And so we would swing our arms and I would walk with my dad. And sure enough, we weren't in any danger. Nobody wanted to interrupt us. And as he would go into the mission, he would preach a message and they would feed these men. I was around these men and I was really intimidated by these really foul smelling, gap tooth, ragged men living off the street. And, and as we would drive home, my dad would say, Roger, these men need Jesus. These men are, are just like you and me, but they've fallen on hard times. They've chosen bad habits and they need Jesus. And I just remember how tender my father was toward these men. And as we were shod with the shoes of the gospel, we not only had a propulsion down that street, we had protection in what we were doing, but we had this compassion for them. As Paul said, I'm compelled by the gospel to give love and grace to these men. Brother, today you have the shoes of the gospel. They protect you. They help you to travel in any terrain you're going in today. But they also propel you with purpose toward those who need the good news of Jesus Christ. Today, as we hold fast, let's remember that we are, we are shod. We have the shoes of the gospel of peace, protecting our own hearts, but peace that we want to give away to anyone who needs it. God bless you today as you walk in the gospel.